my um, daily routine, every morning I have to take my kid to daycare. So that's a little bit of a rush. But after that, I do a regular TV narration for a program called America no Ima o Shiru Terebi. Uh, it directly translates into TV that teaches what's happening in America now. <laughs> so that's the program that I'm narrating for. I don't really use English. It's mostly in Japanese, but I do the voiceovers for that. So that's what we call narrations on PV programs. So I go into the studio. It's a recording studio and it's pretty big. There's about 10 people outside. I go into the sound booth area where they have my script ready. And there's a TV monitor so that I can read my narration while I'm watching the TV program that's already been edited. I take my um, headphones on and I would speak to the microphone that's already been set for me. They give me the cue. They give me a red light that blinks and that's where I, that's my go. I read all the narrations and it has to be um, exactly where it's supposed to be on the TV screen. So that's what I do. Uh, it tells me all these time. So if the narration starts from, for example, 00 to 012, then I would have to read a couple of sentences or something within that time um, frame. They would say, okay, or can you do that again? And that's my routine. Sometimes we also do the voiceovers. So if we're playing the CNN program um, in the Japanese TV program, then we voice over everything that's said in English into Japanese. So my narration's in Japanese for that program. So usually that only takes about an hour. So I leave the studio, I have my lunch time, and then I go into another job. So if I have an MC job that day, uh, if it's a, for example, a gala dinner party event that I have to MC for, then that starts around seven to nine. But there's a rehearsal and it depends on what, how long they want to do the rehearsal. But very big events, they want you to come very early. So the rehearsal could start around noon or one or two or three, usually at least two hours ahead of the uh, program. So once I have lunch, I would probably go straight to the venue. And sometimes it's in a hotel or sometimes it's in a convention hall. And I would go there and start preparing, um, doing all the scripts. Sometimes they ask me to do some last minute translation because I'm a bilingual MC. And so I do that for them. And um, yes, I do the rehearsal. So I go into the venue. They usually give me a room to, for me to prepare. And so that's where I do my makeup or relax. Sometimes they prepare a makeup artist for me, but usually I do it on my own. <laughs> um, and I change into my clothes. Usually they provide me something or they um, ask me to wear, for example, a white suit or, you know, color preferred um, outfit. Last time I did my MC, they prepared a great, nicely printed out script for me, but that doesn't necessarily happen sometimes. <laughs> It's last minute, I would be ripping pages up and you know, placing it and making it a nice little script for me so that I can hold it on my one hand because on my other hand, I have my microphone. So you always have to be prepared because you have to kind of, you know, flip the pages while you're talking on your microphone and stuff like that. So I do the preparation at the rehearsal. And then I'm usually in back of a podium if it's like a, you know, formal gala and I've Put, place my script there or I have a stage which is already prepared and I do my rehearsal up on the stage and during the rehearsal I walk around they do all the lighting for me I go back to the podium they do the lighting for me they do the mic check the sound check that's very very important so that I always do no matter what I'm always doing that at the rehearsal so before I start I usually uh, do back, backstage. <laughs> That's to release your muscles and, you know, um, I go. That's yeah, my routine. Some people think it's funny. 
Um, and then I'm there. The first thing I do is smile. You're just up there and making me a smile. And then you go, welcome. And you start your whole thing. Uh, one thing I'm um, always prepared for is that I memorize the uh, event name. That's important, right? You don't want to be reading the whole script the whole time. And, you know, no, you can't get anyone's attention if you're doing that. So at least for the first line, you know, welcome, for example, to the 100th anniversary gala dinner party or something like that. I mean, it's not that long usually. Oh, oh, but you have to make sure that you get the correct pronunciation of the name of, for example, the company or the name of the speakers. So after I'm done with my event, I would usually rush to the daycare to pick up my daughter. And then I go home, prepare her dinner, and then put her to bed. And finally, when I have time on my own, I love watching movies. So I'm either on Netflix or Amazon Prime. <laughs> And that's my favorite time of the day, <laughs> just relaxing, watching movies. I also watch movies because I have a radio program that we introduce movies. So part of my work, but it's my yeah, pastime hobby.